Hi folks, John Ruffle here and I haven't spoken about the Great Reset for several weeks and I want to do it today and I want to do it from a different perspective than I've done previously and part of the reason for that is that it's been 11 months since I began doing these videos on YouTube and on Facebook and in that period of time I've racked up 320 sorry 330 videos on YouTube plus ones on Facebook so that means basically I've been doing um, a video on average every single day um, and there's a topic I've not even addressed properly in all those 11 months and all those number of videos and that is what we do coming out of lockdown and what should our trajectory be as we enter into a period of semi-normality. Now I'm careful about what I say here because what I believe we're going to be happening, and I'm talking about the United Kingdom right now, because right, right now we're in lockdown, guys. <laughs> People in America might be amazed by this, but we are not allowed out of our homes except for essential shopping. We are not allowed to visit friends, neighbors, relatives. We're not allowed to invite anybody into our homes. Um, our churches are open. Our own parish, you must pre-book online to get a spot and they are all socially distanced and you have to wear your mask in church first lockdown the churches were locked down as well okay so that's the situation we're in and in the next month or so we're beginning to see a road map out of this complete lockdown now i think it's only going to be for a short while and the nature of that i don't know can you imagine going to someone's house and wearing a mask this absolutely seems totally crazy to me but i do want to add that i'm not against mask wearing i had a video took down by youtube just last week and i got a community standard strike because they claim I was supporting breaking WHO rules. Now I'm going to contest that because I don't believe I was. I've never told anyone not to wear a mask. Follow what your government tells you to do at this point in time is my advice to you. I don't know, it's possible that they're going to put a strike on this video as well. I hope not because it just means more aggravation of me fighting YouTube um, over something quite innocuous and actually in line with what the government is speaking about. Okay, having said that, I do believe we're going to be entering a period, a short period perhaps, where we have a little bit of normality where indeed we can think about what does the church look like post COVID-19. Now I'm not sure that the pews are ever in the short term going to get filled as they were previous to 2020. I'm not saying thus says the Lord, this is my own personal observation on this. I just can't quite see it because I think too many people are going to be afraid to have close physical contact with people, frankly. Um, but then this gives us a great opportunity as the body of Christ, as the church, the great reset of the church. And so as our homes begin to open up, my question is, who will you invite into your home and for what reason? Who will you invite into your home and for what reason? Uh, if I can make a suggestion, we have been zoomed out of our minds. You know, the Zoom meetings, um, Facebook, personal message chats and so forth. We, I mean, right now you're watching this on YouTube or on a Facebook link. And um, 
I'm pretty fed up with seeing people on a computer screen. Um, although it's great, it's, I'm glad we've got the technology to do it. But when we begin to open up, what I believe the challenge is, is for us to have small groups of believers in our homes for the purpose of prayer, Bible study, fellowship, eating food, sharing together, and having that sense of community in our homes. But to make no mistake about it, the future of the church is the future of our homes. And the future of our homes is the future of the church. The big building programs and so forth, frankly, I believe they're thing of the past for those of us that who seek to follow Jesus Christ in spirit and in truth and without compromise. Already around the world, we see persecution of unimaginable intensity against Christians. Um, in China, there is persecution against Christians and Muslims and other ethnic minorities of horrendous scale. In the Middle East, we see Christians persecuted horrendously. And in many other countries, much persecution where the church has been driven underground. And yet what I find strange is in some of the countries where the church already has been driven underground, we still have church leaders trying to build church buildings as if they just cannot get out of the mindset that church is not the building. Church is about relationship, the family of God, bound together with a common mutual covenant with Jesus Christ, the blood covenant that he spilled on the cross for our salvation, binds us together as brothers and sisters. Now you might say, do I have a scriptural precedent for what I'm saying. I'm convinced that I do. And I'm going to be talking about that in the next video. So t stay tuned. Please subscribe to the channel. You've got no idea. It really, really helps. If you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, share these videos, if you click on the little bell icon, then at the bottom of the YouTube, um, of this YouTube, then you'll get a notification when I upload a new video. And I'll tell you why it's important. I don't get any money from these. And it's not, whether I get money or not from it isn't of importance because the Lord will supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. But I would like to see some of the videos that I've been making get a wider audience because personally, I've put my life into what I'm saying and I believe that at least some of what I'm saying has got great worth for the salvation of souls. You know, we're all earthen vessels. We're all just human flesh and blood but it's been entrusted to you and to me to share the mysteries of our Lord Jesus Christ in wonderful ways. And we have this means of communication. So let's use it. You might not be feeling comfortable about making a video, or well, some of my friends have, which is fantastic. I, I thank God for those who have jumped online and have been doing videos and audios. My wife was on uh, Perbeck Radio last week uh, having an hour-long interview with Elaine Trimlet Glover. Thank you Elaine for doing that interview with my wife. Um, unfortunately we were going to put the video on YouTube. Um, unfortunately the video um, is not available. We only got the audio of it so that won't happen. Uh, but we can always do another one with my wife because I know that you, she's a lot more popular than I am. What I'm saying is that it's important that we all do our part. And if I make the videos, or if my wife makes the videos, I'm asking you to make sure that you do your part in sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ because people need to know that 
there is hope and there is a life beyond this life and that there is a saviour and his name is our Lord Jesus Christ and whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Right, next time we're going to look into the scriptures. This is John Ruffle. Thank you for watching today. God bless you.